Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at AutoCAD 2016 and how to use the table command. Here I am in model space of a drawing, annotate tab of the ribbon, tables panel. I have the table command here. I also have the style selector here as well, <clears throat> and it gives you one to work with which is called standard. You can click this little arrowhead here to get to the table style. The table style dialog box opens up. <clears throat> It lists all the styles that you have available in this current drawing. And you can click Modify to get into the Modify Table Style dialog box for that particular style, in this case called Standard. And you can make adjustments on the design. For example, table direction can be up or down. Uh, the cell styles for the data, the header, and the title can be anything you want. So for example, here under Data, this is what the, data, the information for data will look like. If I go to header, I can make the modification here as well. So let's say we do yellow. Uh, we'll do text I am, we'll leave that. And we'll do red. We'll go over to title. We'll make this cyan. And we'll put borders in here. And then lastly, data. We can make the fill color some other color say gray, <clears throat> and we can make the text a different color, something that stands out, say green, hit OK, hit close, and now you've modified that style for the table. To actually work with the table command, start the table command. It opens up the dialog box called insert table. You're using that style. You can start from an empty table, from a data link, or from objects in the drawing. In this screencast, we'll just do it from an empty table. This is what the preview will look like. When we insert it, we can insert it two ways. We can do it via an insertion point, what, which looks at the column and row definition information here. Or you can click Specify Window, <clears throat> and it will just look at the columns and the number of uh, rows and heights. You can also set the cell styles for the title for the first row, second, and all other rows. I'm going to pick insertion point for this example. We'll hit OK. And then we can click to place it. I'm going to zoom in. It automatically defaults to the first one, first cell. So I'm going to call this uh, title cell. Hit enter. And I'm going to zoom in here and it goes to the second line of cell. So we're going to header one. And it'll drop down and put in data one or whatever you want. If you select this, you can once, <clears throat> you can click and drag these, this arrowhead here to increase or decrease the number of um, the size of the verticalness. You can also, if you click this arrowhead here, you can click and pull this, and it will increase or decrease the size of the columns and the widths and um, jump to other columns if necessary. Uh, you can um, right click and make any uh, contextual adjustments that you need to with the contextual menu. You can left click that dot once and right click and you can input or stretch remove so on and so forth. If I do the command again and let's say I do specify window and I hit OK, I can click and drag and click and I will get another way to insert the table. And then you can start inputting data. Again, if you select the schedule just once, you'll have a lot of grips for you to work with. You can also adjust the size here. You can adjust how many columns here. You can adjust the width of each of the vertical columns as well here. And 
if you double click inside a cell, then you're in the cell and you can make adjustments. For example, maybe it's not going to be green, it's going to be orange. Um, like so. When you're here, you can obviously work with the style of the font, matching, bold, italics, underline. This is uh, basically your text editor. And any of the features that are in here, you can work within that cell. If you do a window selection of cells like this, you can merge those cells by row or by column or merge all of them. If you double click inside a cell, you can do justification, columns, symbols, fields, so on and so forth. And that's it. That's a quick uh, screencast tutorial on how to insert and work with tables in AutoCAD 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.